Yo, what is going on bros? It is finally here. Something we've all been waiting for for a long time, I'm sure. Xbox has had this since the dawn of day, and PlayStation has finally released it to everybody, and that is changing your PSN name. I'm going to show you guys how you can change your PSN name in this video. Everybody can do it now. The first change is free of charge. Changes after this are going to cost around $10, and nobody can take your old gamer tag. So if you change your name, somebody else can't take it. It's free to revert back if you change your mind as well, but you'll have to contact PlayStation Network about it. But without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how you can change your PSN name because I think this is pretty damn cool and it's about god time we've been able to do this. So to kick it off you go to settings and then you go to account management, account information and then you wait for it to load because sometimes PlayStation is slow. You go all the way down to profile, click on this and then you are reached with this new feature, online ID. Change your online ID. Now, I'm going to test a few things for you because there's a few risks associated with changing your name because PlayStation hasn't had this feature before. Not all games support changing your name, so you might feature some loss of progress on some games. So I'm going to test Fortnite, I'm going to test Apex Legends, and I'm also going to test Call of Duty Black Ops 4, the three main games I've been playing recently, and see if I lose any progress or whether changing my name affects those games or not. So I'm going to accept the information. Now, once you've entered your password, you can start choosing your new gamer tag. Now, obviously, PlayStation choose yes of you. I could be Planet Cloudy 416 Just for the point of this video, I'm going to choose some meme name knowing that I can simply just change it back to my old gamer tag or think of something new. I just like this feature. Enter a new uh, online ID. Okay, we got to do something to do with my YouTube. Zeus YT, by the way, TTV. <laughs> Freaking... Oh, wait, 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 we can't, it's not done yet. We gotta make this actually meme worthy. Oh my god, nobody has taken this game attack. I'm surprised that nobody has taken this game attack. All right, confirm. Now, new online, your first change is free, it says. It says it's $13 for me, but I said it costs $10 because that's American. I'm from Australia, and that's Australian $13.45. If you're in another country with a different currency, it might cost something slightly different, but it's around $10 US. So let's go ahead and confirm the change of my name. The dumbest name I've ever had. We have done. Signed out of PSN. We have officially changed our name to XXZeusTT. Oh my god. Now, I can contact PlayStation to revert it back if I want to. Or I can just think of something new. But it is going to cost me money the next time I change it. But now for the important thing. Am I going to lose progress on the games I've played before? We're going to sign back into PlayStation Network, and then I'm going to test that really quickly, just because I don't want you guys losing progress. Alrighty, let's first test Apex Legends, then we'll test Fortnite, and then we'll test, last but not least, Black Ops 4 to see if we lose progress on any of those games, simply because we changed our name. i got a feeling that we won't. I did hope I won't. I'm number one ranked Octane in my country, Australia. I've got so many kills. I think i got like 11,000, 12,000 kills on Apex Legends. You'd hate to see me reset on this. Especially Fortnite, I've got thousands of dollars worth of skins. Black Ops 4, I've, I'm like level 500 or something. Nothing crazy on Black Ops 4. But these games right here, Apex and Fortnite, I, re I really don't want to get reset. Please, for the love of God. Zeus, YT, TTV, yes, I'm level 100. Let's just double check my Octane. Yes, 239 season wins, 4,000 kills. We have not lost any progress. And this is, oh, yuck. That is so gross, but I love it. All right. Next game, let's test out Fortnite. Have I lost progress? 2,000 years later. I forgot how bloody long it takes to load up Fortnite. I haven't played this game in a while. Now, I know a lot of people want me to play this game, but I've always just done what I enjoy on YouTube. I've never done what gets me the most views. Yes, probably playing Fortnite would make me more money. Okay, I, d I don't want any of this. But at the end of the day, I just like posting what I enjoy. And Apex at the moment is definitely the game that I just enjoy playing. So that's what I'm going to post. And eh, leave me alone, Fortnite. I don't want your gifts. Oh, yikes. I can definitely see that I've still got my skins here. What do you mean? Leave me alone. I don't want any of these things. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me, Epic Games? All right. We definitely have all our skins. We've got, like, so many gifts for different ones. But I have in over 200 skins in total on Fortnite. Should I give this account away? I, I might even think about giving this account away. It is like one of the most stacked accounts with like all rare OG skins. Every battle pass skins. I've got like Gold Trooper, Skull Trooper. I have so many skins. Over 200 of them. I might just give this account away at some point. 
Let me know if you guys would like it. I don't know if I can give my account away, but if there's a way I can do it and Fortnite won't get angry at me, I definitely should. Because I don't plan on playing Fortnite anymore. I had fun in the time Fortnite was out, but I've moved on and, you know... Eventually, some of you guys will too. I know a lot of people are invested in this game, whether they've spent too much skins, they've spent too much time learning the skills, but I can understand why there's a lot of people still playing that game. It's a good game, but I've just moved on and enjoy other games now. But last but not least, let's see if we lose any progress on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. If not, I suggest you guys go ahead, change your PSN if you want to. Definitely don't do it anything looking like mine, because I literally have the worst PSN on PlayStation at this point in time. You can't do any worse than what I've done. So, yeah. <laughs> this is the ultimate question. Am I still level 500? Yes, I'm still level 555 on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I'm actually going to put a link in the description of games they have tested. Because they have tested a few games, but there are some games that don't support it and you will lose your progress. I think they have a list of that as well. But there's a lot of games that aren't tested, which is why I decided to test them myself right here. So... Because I don't want any of you guys losing all the progress on your favorite game. So, that'll do for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if it helps you out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe I'll be playing a game that you enjoy in the near future. Or maybe you enjoy Apex. Or maybe you're one of the true subscribers that enjoy whatever game I do decide to play. But anyway, have a wonderful day guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.